So, today I wanted to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart and I just love doing. Um, if you know me, you know that I love writing papers. Like, it's just so much fun. Like, you get to talk about how you feel about something. And a paper is your chance to either learn about something if it's APA and it's like informational then like you can at least just learn something that you didn't know before and um, if it's an MLA you can and even if it's not like you have to argue a side that you don't agree with you can understand the other side every teacher wants something different so find out what your teacher wants kind of not fair, but it kind of is, because writing papers is a way of learning how to voice your opinion or how to deal with all kinds of topics and deal with all kinds of um, different audiences. Number two, do not, do not start your introduction paragraph first. That's not the first thing you do. Don't do it. First, you need to start with your body paragraphs. Because how are you going to write one paragraph to describe three paragraphs that you haven't even wrote yet? So we're on number three. And this is, I'm going to talk to you about body paragraphs. In your body paragraphs, you this is your time to talk about what you think like just expand your brain expand it take every assignment as an opportunity to learn something and think of something in a different way you'll write down your thoughts and everything or get some general ideas and then try to pick three things out of your ideas or three important things that you want to talk about and what you can talk about within those things. And there's your body paragraphs. Just, ex just talk, 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 talk all about those things. But just pick one, one thing per paragraph. You don't need like 50 things per paragraph. You get a general idea and then you expand on the general idea in the one paragraph and then you move on to the next paragraph and then you move on to the next paragraph your conclusion you want you do want to write your conclusion right after you're done with your body paragraphs when you see a commercial and you know how the commercial is supposed to if it's a good commercial it's supposed to sum up the whole movie or sum up the product like what does the product do what is this commercial about and the commercial is like only a few minutes long okay pretend like you're making a commercial for your paper that you just wrote okay. anyways think of it that way don't think don't think i am writing a paper and i can't i can only do this i can only do that just think don't think about it like that. Think about it as like, this is something, it's okay. When I get done with this assignment, I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to be smarter. I'm going to have a different perspective. And I'm going to, and like, even if you know a bunch of stuff about the topic already, you're going to know even more about it. So, thank your teacher. Thank her or him. Thank them. And then you do your introduction. And with your introduction, people have said, you gotta do an attention grabber and all this stuff. And blah, 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 blah. If you care about, if you can make yourself care about what you're talking about, like really care about it, or I mean, whatever, just what made you, what clicked in your brain to make you care about this thing. Think about that. And then that is your attention grabber or whatever. 
whatever caught your uh, your interest about the topic or whatever, you try to sum that up in a sentence and smack it down on the front of the paragraph, the very front. Okay, and then you just do a little bit of talking about stuff. Just add on to what you just said, the first sentence, just add on. And then you, okay, a paragraph of like four sentences, right? Watch this. Okay. You do your little attention grabber, or whatever the gra whatever made you happy about it. Do your little attention grabber. Then add on to your attention grabber with another sentence, pretty much saying the same thing but in a different way, and or further explain what you just said. And or I mean, it could be a quote. But anyways, say that. Then add on. That's two sentences, and you need four. You're going to need a thesis statement, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But then, your third sentence is going to be building up towards your thesis statement. It's like, here it is, and here it is, holding it up, making it like nice, because it goes together. They're friends. Thesis statement and the sentence right before it. It, it's the backup. Yeah. And after that, you've got your introduction paragraph. Not that hard. Okay, for your thesis statement. Alright. What is the basic concept of paragraph one? What is the basic concept of paragraph two? What's the basic concept of paragraph three? Just Find a way to put those three basic concepts in a sentence and say, to basically say, this is what you're going to get from this paper. That's all a thesis statement is. It's like the whole essay, the essence of the essay in one sentence. Okay, now for quotes and other things like that in text citations so you've got what you had to say and it might not look like a lot now or it might be a lot now but what you said if if, you, if citations in text citations are required then you need to do this you have your paper written just write what you know and then and write what you want to say and then backing up what you have to say backing up your thoughts and feelings with other people's information and research and um, opinions sometimes it depends on what kind of paper you're writing but all you gotta do is just look for stuff that supports what you're saying I will talk about citations another time but that's basically what citations are. All you gotta do is just back up what you already said. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I love writing papers and I can talk about writing papers all day. But I'm trying real hard not to. And there's so many other things that I need to talk about with papers. And I guess I'll make another video about citation probably will be the first thing that I'll talk about because people are scared to death of well a lot of my friends and like for a long time I was scared of citations and they still are kind of annoying but they're okay they it's, it's a, citations are good but anyway we'll talk about that next time but 